welcome back to my channel. I am so excited because I'm back and posting and I pretty much haven't posted for six weeks, but I am so excited to be back and posting for you guys. So for this week's video, it is going to be a summer DIY life hacks video and I'm super duper excited. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'm going to give you guys like a quick 60 second update on my life and what I've been doing the past six weeks of my life. Um, okay. Filmed hair care routine, flew to Spain, at my grandparents' house, left my grandparents' house, went to Italy, and if you guys didn't know uh, that I was in Italy, you guys should uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, the links will be down below, or you guys can click right here. Um, so I was in Italy for 10 days, posted a bunch of pictures on Instagram because... Success. If you guys would like to see what we did in Italy, I actually have two vlogs on it, part one and part two on my vlog channel. So you guys can click on the screen right here, or you could click the link down below. And you should also subscribe to my vlog channel. So, yep. In Italy for 10 days, saw the Colosseum, the Pantheon, Pompeii. It was one of the best trips of my life. Then flew back from Italy, and here I am, standing here in my grandparents' garden. It actually rained in Spain. What? That's unheard of because it's like the desert here and it rained and we were literally in the house and we walked outside of the house because we were like hearing these banging noises and it was hailing. Like literally just ice cubes were just like falling down. But anyway, I'm gonna stop talking now. That was an update of my life. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you do. And also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, you should definitely subscribe because there's going to be a lot of fun videos coming up for this summer. If you guys want to subscribe, you can click right here or you can click right down below. That's pretty much it. And you guys should also comment down below what your plans are for this summer. I'd really like to know. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna stop talking now and uh, let's just get into the video. Hello everyone. So for this hair detangler, all you're gonna need is a cup, some conditioner, and a bottle. All you want to do is put some water in a cup and add like three squirts, I guess, of conditioner and then just put it into your bottle. And I'm using a funnel because the top was very, very small. Um, but this is great if you're going to the beach and if your hair gets all tangled and all saltwatery and nasty, you can just spray this in your hair and it works great. So once you're done, you just shake it up and spray it into your hair and you're finished. So for this next DIY life hack, we're going to make a shoebox movie projector. So all you're going to need is a shoebox and a magnifying glass. So all I'm doing is tracing out the magnifying glass shape on the front of my shoebox and then I'm just cutting that out. And once it's cut out, all you're going to do is pop out the middle piece of the magnifying glass, the glass piece, and tape it in. But make sure you don't tape, get too much tape on the sides because you want it to like project onto the wall without having tape pieces in the way. And also, if there's a space in between the magnifying glass and the box like you can see on mine, just use some black tape because you want it to kind of, you kind of want it to look like this in the end. Um, so once you're finished with that, all you're going to do is go into your settings and you're going to want to flip the screen on your phone. So go to general and then go to accessibility and once you get to accessibility, go and scroll down until you see the excessive touch. And the excessive touch is that annoying little button that's always on the side or whatever. But once you're done, go to your photos and choose what video you want to play or if you're going to watch Netflix with your friends, then click on what you want to play and project onto the wall. And then you're just going to turn your phone and click on- my phone was on lock so I had to unlock it. Um, but you just want to click the excessive touch button and then go to device, 
rotate screen and then rotate it so it's upside down. And then once it's upside down, you want to make sure it's playing upside down. And then you just place it inside the box and it projects onto the wall. I couldn't film it projecting onto the wall. I swear it works. And make sure you move your phone forward and backward to see where it is most focused, but it didn't show up on camera on the wall, but I promise you it works. Just make sure you get it in focus, so move your phone forward and back to make sure it works. I think this is an awesome DIY if you're having a sleepover with your friends and want to watch Netflix or anything, and also it's super duper fun, but it's not the greatest quality, but again, it's super duper fun. So for this next life hack, we are going to be making fruit cubes, and all you're going to need is a fruit of your choice, some ice trays, and that's pretty much it. So all I'm doing is just rinsing off my fruit. Baby, if you want me, then all of this will go away. My many artifacts, the list goes on. If you just say the words, I'll up and run on to you. So once I was done rinsing my strawberries, all I'm doing is cutting off the stems, of course, because those don't taste very good. So once you have all the stems cut off, it depends on what kind of fruit you're using, of course, all I'm doing is cutting my strawberries into little tiny cubes. So I just cut them in half, and then cut the halves down the middle, and then cut them into super duper duper tiny adorable little cubes. So that's pretty much all you do. And then once you are done cutting your fruit into cubes, all you're going to want to do is place it into your ice tray. So once your fruit is in the tray, all you're going to do is add some water, of course, and then just pop it into the freezer and it should be done in a couple hours. I love this life hack because I like to put fruit and stuff in my water and so I just decided to make ice cubes out of it. So I did make these strawberries ones, but I also made these uh, other ones and they are mint, half lime juice, and half water. And they're super duper cute, so I just put about four of them into a cup and added some fizzy water, and it was so refreshing. Cause baby, now we got bad uh, Hey, I can't take it back, look where I'm at. Uh, we was OG like D.O.C., remember, remember that? My T.O.C. was quite O.D., I.D. my facts. My. Now P.O.V. of you and me, similar Iraq. I don't hate you, but I hate to critique, overrate you. These beats of a dark heart use bass lines to replace you. Take time. So this next life hack isn't really a life hack, it's more of a DIY. It is a 2015 memory jar. Now I wanted to make a 2015 memory jar because I made a 2014 one and at the end of 2014 I just loved going through it and looking at all the memories that I had from 2014 and I spelt memories like that because it's an inside joke between my friend and I. But anyway, um, so I'm just decorating the 2015 memories thing. And then I'm writing down a bunch of memories on a separate piece of paper that I had that or that I've had this year so far. And all I'm doing after I wrote everything down is of course you can cut these things out, but I decided to rip them out because I like the kind of effect that the ripping it out gives. I don't know. I'm just weird like that. But anyway, so I put the 2015 memories little label thing on the front of my jar, and then all the memories that I've had so far, I wrote them down on a piece of paper and stuck them inside of the jar. You can also put other things inside the jar such as jewelry or um, tickets of anything you've done, concert tickets. These are my grandma's and my lift tickets in Italy to go to this one place called Gubbio. And then just a Polaroid picture of my friends that moved. That was a great memory. So it's pretty much great for everything and I love it. Peter Bond met her at a beauty salon with a baby Louis Vuitton under her underarm. She said, I could tell you rock. It won't go any louder. She just buy a speaker and give up. Hey, I'm sure I'm not the only one who has this problem. Can't get your music loud? Well, I'm going to show you guys how you can without paying $75 for a speaker. All you need is your phone. Turn it up as high as it can go. Stick it in a cup. Don't go out and buy a $70 speaker. All you need is a cup or a vase, and yeah. I have leggings on with my boots and fluffy socks. You probably didn't see that. Let's see, hold on. Yeah. Let's 
feel comfortable. Okay, bye.